On April 11th, the Social Security Administration published yet another final rule that they say removes barriers to people accessing SSI payments. It's called the Expansion of the Rental Subsidy Policy for SSI Applicants and Recipients. It's the second major tweak to SSI regulations in the last couple weeks, and the agency says even more changes are still on the way. Now, as you know, SSI provides monthly payments to adults and children with disabilities or blindness and to adults age 65 and older who have limited income and resources, and it helps pay for basic needs. People applying for and receiving SSI must meet eligibility requirements, including income and asset tests. And what these recent policy changes have done is change what counts as income. Under the old rules here, in-kind support and maintenance calculations included shelter that is given to an individual because somebody else paid for it. The agencies counted this as unearned income, and that certainly can impact your eligibility for SSI or the amount of benefits you receive. Now, this was the old rule for almost all the states. There were a couple states that were left out of this because of litigation. Now, here's an example. Let's say you got discounted rent from your landlord. The difference of what the rent was due based on what you actually paid was sometimes considered a subsidy, an in-kind support, unearned income subsidy. Rent was not counted in the old rule if there was something that was called a business arrangement, and that's when the monthly rent required exceeded the current market rental value. Paying less than this open market price, however, is what would constitute that subsidy amount that you counted on your application. Under the new rules, we essentially change the calculation. We're not looking at that open market rent as the threshold anymore. Instead, they're looking at something that is called the presumed maximum value. This essentially means that it is not enough for an SSI beneficiary to be provided shelter at a rate below the market value for that difference to be counted in income. Said another way, rental assistance, such as renting at a discounted rate, is less likely to be used against you. This new rule may in fact increase increase the payment amount so people are eligible to receive, it also might make more people eligible for SSI in the first place. The change is effective September 30th, 2024. In a statement, the Social Security Commissioner Martin O'Malley said simplifying and expanding our rental subsidy policy nationwide is another common sense solution that will improve program equality and will reduce agency time spent calculating and administering rental subsidies. You can read that rule change. We link to resources from the Social Security Administration in the description below. 